Do it, people. We're going to see if we can connect this MIDI controller up to the Unreal Engine. Um, I'm following this tutorial where I left it last time. I was able to find the device, the MIDI device, but I wasn't able to get a note out of it. So we'll see where I'm going wrong with my with my blueprint file and hopefully be able to the main goal is to connect it to something like a light. And I want to figure out how the process of doing that. And eventually once I get the MIDI trigger set up then I want to basically make a scene, make a stage that could be used in conjunction with uh, a musical audio performance. So let's take a look. Now to open up the blueprint, we have the actor, we made the actor. And to open it, we need to double click on the actor. Okay. So playing it um, actually doesn't come up with my MIDI device. So let's try and unhook it, rehook it, and listen for the, the click, the Windows sound. Let's check the devices, other devices. Okay, it shows up, SPDSX. Let's try resetting it. <laughs> Okay, so now there, it shows up, but it's not, it doesn't appear to be logging the, the hits. So let's go back into here. And when we hit play we can see these and I think this tells me where it's not connecting or not going through so 
So let's take a look at the tutorial again. It says, I want to collect and store all the MIDI devices supported by the OS. If I've enabled debug mode on my BP, I like to print out a list of all the connected devices. So I got that to work. It prints out the list. Then I want to search for my specific MIDI input device. And once found, assign it as my MIDI device. For each loop, it's here. Break, break found MIDI device. Doesn't it usually say when you hover over? Adds a node that breaks a found MIDI, MIDI device into its member fields. True if device supports sending events. Device name. This name comes from the MIDI hardware. Any might not be unique. Adds a node that breaks the found media device into its member fields. Consent to is already in use. Is default input device. True, true if this is the default media device for input on this system. What is this? Oh, you can just control it where it goes, where it turns. MIDI device name, variable.
It doesn't work. It's not working. What what is wrong with my someone debug for me? Anyone in the chat that can debug? Okay, so let's see, let's work through this. Oops, let's see. So, I wish I could, um, does it tell you why, like why it would be broken? Adding nodes, context menus, wiring nodes. The pins can be wired together because they're compatible types like integers, phone numbers. A message will appear indicating that a node will automatically convert the plugin type to the output type. Pins cannot be wired together because they are not the same type and conversion to the Blueprint flow diagram should excuse me. One event begin play executes when gameplay begins and sends an execution. This, the value of the name variable is obtained and append to the string hello. This is because the return value of the append node is wired to the in string input value of the print string. All input data pins must be calculated before a node can execute. Value. The value of the name variable is obtained and appended to the string hello. Append. This is because the return value of the append node is wired to the in string input value of the print string node. All input data pins must be calculated before a node can execute. Because it has received an execution signal it and had its input values calculated, the print string node can't execute. So it prints the hello name string to the screen. I want to know what the uh, the lines mean. Basic scripting, technical guide, level. <clears throat> how to debug? How do I? How do I? Blueprints? How to direct blueprint communication? Blueprint casting examples, collapsing graphs, anatomy of a blueprint. Workflow tools, comments, blueprint debugging. Debugging controls blueprint debugger provides control over execution of the game during PIE and SIE sessions. The controls become enabled in the toolbar when the game is running. Different debugging controls appear depending on the type of blueprint being debugged and the current state of the debugging session. Some controls only become enabled when relevant, such as when a breakpoint is hit. Both the debug tab 
which can be opened from the Blueprint Editor's window menu. And the Blueprint Debugger will display the context-sensitive debugging buttons when PIE or SIE modes are active. So where is the debug tab? When, when it's active? Debug filter. Blueprint debugger. Blueprint and then there's window menu. Debug. Event begin play. Outputs. What? Setting macros. Inputs. Is valid. What? Standard macros. What are these? Sequence. Standard macros? What is this? No debugging info. Really? Really? All right, let's keep reading. Breakpoints. Breakpoints are markers that can be placed on blueprint graph nodes. When a node with a breakpoint is about to be executed during a PIE session, the game will pause and the developer will be taken to the node in the blueprint editor's graph view. This provides the opportunity to observe the values of variables and examine or step through the flow of execution within the blueprint. All breakpoints for a given blueprint are displayed in the debug tab and can be viewed in the blueprints graph when selected. To place a breakpoint node, right click, add breakpoint. Just solid red octagon will appear in the upper left. Breakpoint can be removed by right clicking the node again. Okay, let's put in a breakpoint then. Because we need to see what's going on over here. Breakpoint. Break int point. Right click the node and select add breakpoint. Add breakpoint. So what variable are we getting here? How do I how do I see what the variable is? Breakpoint uh, to disable the breakpoint. At which point a solid red octagon will appear in the upper left corner of the node. The breakpoint can be removed by right clicking the node again or by right clicking the breakpoint's entry in the debug tab. Uh, 
It's selecting the remove breakpoint command. Okay. To enable a disabled breakpoint. The breakpoint is invalid and will never be hit. In some cases, recompiling the blueprint can fix this. When pausing an execution with a breakpoint, the editor will highlight and focus the node. Debug tab, debug tab shows da -da -da. designated as important by the designer in the form of breakpoints and watch values, as well as a trace stack of all nodes belonging to the blueprint that have been executed. This window also shows controls for controlling execution of the game when using breakpoints. Watch window. The blueprint watch window is designed to speed up debugging. Giving you access to the variables and nodes you want to watch even across multiple blueprints. Watch data from every blueprint watch window. Okay, that's what I need. Win window watch. Where is the watch window? Do, do, do. Dead fish. Watch window, watch data from every blueprint open it in the editor that is part of the current call stack. We consolidate it into a single list which will be populated with the current data. Using this list, you can inspect variables and function outputs and jump between blueprints with ease. Arrays, sets, maps, and other data structures can be expanded, making drill down examination of any data they contain quick and convenient. You can also click on an entry in the node name column and go to the watch window so results find bookmark sequence sequence content develop class viewer pixel inspector So, what blueprint watch window is designed to speed up debugging. Is this it? Is that the watch window though? Debug tab and blueprint debugger. Debug tab shows information designated. So, it also control execution. All right, what about here? If we add a breakpoint here, then what, how do you, how do you, how do you see what branch? Find results. Where where the heck is the watch window? Debug window content blueprint debugger. This is what I need. Here it is. So if I add the breakpoint here, play. Then watch. No watches to display. B2, nothing. Call stack. Event graph. Debug. Blueprint. Watches. So there's no watches to display. So what? Call stack. Hmm. 
watch data from every blueprint that you open in the editor as part of current call stack. We'll be consolidated, we'll just do the list. Using this list, you can inspect variables. All right, watch this one. Break when you refresh. Event begin play. And then it just goes unknown. I feel like there's not any info on here. Well, there, there is the execution trace. Oh. But, um. Yeah, I don't see any. Okay, maybe maybe this is wrong because it goes unknown after this. I want to collect and store all MIDI devices, find MIDI devices, set. That works though on this end because it prints all this stuff and then. Oh, maybe this, oh, maybe I can't connect it right here. Instead, I do this, I promote this to a variable. Then I call it MIDI devices. Oh, wait, I already have the variable. Get MIDI devices like that. Same thing. my specific MIDI input device, but I, f I feel like I'm not telling it which device to choose. Like I want number two. Get all actors with interface. Oh, select a class. I'm not selecting a class here. MIDI listener. MIDI listener. I collect all the actors in the scene with the custom blueprint and store the list as an array. 
interface to find it must be specified or result array will be empty so then what MIDI listener, what does that mean? Interface. AI perception listener in interface. So which one of these do I pick? So I don't see MIDI listener, so... Maybe someone had the same question in this th thread. Pretty amazing what you do, but I have a big issue. Get all actors interface. I don't really understand where the MIDI listener comes from. See, this person has the same question. Arnod, so bad. <laughs> Has the same issue. How you get the actors is up to you. If they're all the same class, then you can get all actors by class. For me, the interface meant I could send messages to all actors regardless of class and let them sort out which message belonged to which. How you get the actors? Oh, get all actors with interface. With MIDI interface. So there's something about actors I don't understand. Blueprint interface. A blueprint interface is a collection of one or more functions, name only, no implementation, that can be added 
to other blueprints. Any blueprint as the interface added is guaranteed to have those functions. The functions of the interface can be given functionality in each of the blueprints that added it. This is essentially like the concept of an interface in general programming, which allows multiple different types of objects to all share and be accessed through a common interface. Put simply, blueprint interfaces allow different blueprints to share with and send data to one another. Blueprint interfaces can be made by content creators through the editor in a similar fashion to other blueprints, but they come with certain limitations in the, that they cannot add new variables, edit graphs, add components. The use of blueprint interfaces allows for a common method of interacting with multiple disparate types of objects that all share some specific functionality. This means that you can have completely different objects, such as a car and a tree, that share one specific thing, like they can both be shot by weapon fire and take damage. By creating a blueprint interface that contains an on-take weapon fire function, and having both the car and the tree implement that blueprint interface, you can treat the car and the tree as the same type and simply call the on take weapon fire function. It contains an on take weapon fire function. Interface, interface. Boom! Uh, uh, I, I really don't understand what this does in interface. Blueprint interfaces allow for common methods of interacting with multiple disparate types of objects that all share a specific functionality. Means you can complete different types of objects that share one specific thing. They likely can both be shot by weapon fire and take damage by creating blueprint interfaces contains on weapon fire take function having both the car and tree implement that blueprint interface you can treat the car and tree as the same type and simply call on take weapon fire function when either of them is shot huh blueprint interface editing and interface oh wait, wait doesn't isn't the interface Doesn't the interface have components? Editing function signatures. Wait, he says, how you get the actors is up to you. If they're all the same class, what is that? The same class? then you can get all actors by class. Matinee, anime, inferent, movie scene, named slot interface, nav link, nav, node, path following agent interface, slate, turn based match interface, user list entry, user object list entry. Man, I don't know. He, his says MIDI listener, so I don't understand. Interface. It takes an interface. Class. Oh, select the class if they're all the same class. How you get the actors is up to you if they're all the same class. Create MIDI device controller. Set. Oh, wait. 
bind event. I don't have this. I'm missing this bind event. doesn't have that though for guys that lose MIDI events after one to two minutes, don't forget to store a MIDI device into a variable. Create MIDI, Create MIDI device controller. Man, I don't know. I have no idea what to do. I could try what he's doing here. Bind event on MIDI event, MIDI controller. What is this variable, MIDI controller? Where do I get that? Delegate for newer blueprint menus. Act simply as a UK2 node, add delegate with an attached custom event node. An event with customizable name and parameters. Custom event. MIDI device controller. We're scrapping it. So basically, I want this bind event. Then on MIDI event.
Hmm. What am I doing with my life? Mini controller. What? Warning what? Don't forget to store mini device into a variable. Create MIDI device controller. That's what I did. That's what I did. Man, I almost feel like starting a new one. I almost feel like starting a new one. That, uh... Let's try and follow the flow. Well, we need we need to put uh, the MIDI to build the MIDI to. Where's oh the MIDI blueprint actor needs to be in here. So, event begins, find MIDI devices, enumerates all the connected devices, and reports back the IDs and names of those devices. This operation is a little expensive, so only do it once at startup, or if you think that new device may be connected. Okay, so it gets all the MIDI devices. Current value equals zero. So this is where we put, we add the breakpoint. Current value equals zero. Oh, array, array of found me. Why does it say zero? Current value. It's an empty, it's empty. But that can't be because it reports all this stuff. be empty because obviously it gets to here because it prints found MIDI device breakpoint break links add a breakpoint Current value true. So if true, if debug is true, then found array element found media device structure.
Return value equals true. So we're not even getting any, but we are getting MIDI, MIDI devices. Because they show up right here. Found the following devices. But then it says zero right there. And to note that breaks a found MIDI device into its member fields. I can't add a breakpoint here. Current value, but it does have a value. Well, it's saying it doesn't have a value. Find MIDI devices. So what's wrong with this? Target is made device, ne device manager. Okay, I'll be right back. I'll be right back, this is tough.
so current value is nothing but maybe it just doesn't work with breakpoints I don't know because it does print so it's got to be it's not printing now Oh, here. So it's false. Why is it false? It should be true to go to this next part. This name comes from MIDI hardware. Any might not be unique. So I don't, do we even need this? What is this for? I even need that. Then what? Input object, current value, none. None. MIDI controller. Where, where do we get that from? Then I bind my MIDI device to my on MIDI event. MIDI controller. Which is this one. Current value is none though. The ID of the MIDI device you want to talk to. But how do you how do you select the device? understand how it selects the device device ID can I can I just um, choose an integer like if I do an int
I just need number two. Create MIDI controller, and then this guy says I have to promote it to a variable. Then to on MIDI event. variable is not in scope All actors with interface, MIDI listener. Then what? Set. Get all actors, target is gameplay statistics. Can help me out with my patch here. Any 
any Unreal Engine programmers in the chat that can help me out. Oh, how can I get some info? So it goes completed and then, see this is not working because it's, it's not getting my actor. It needs to get the, uh, the MIDI blueprint actor. Uh, so parent class is actor, native parent class actor, blueprint class, Interface, select a class. I mean, I could just try them all, I guess. There's only 65. <laughs> Asset registry. Let's browse. Here we go. Content browser. Input, vector, delegate, binding, key, level bounds, level script, actor. Maybe it's a level script actor. Level script blueprint? Level script actor. Wait, what?
Turn base to match. I don't. Interface. Well, let, let's read the interface again, because I obviously don't understand what an interface is. Blueprint interface. All right, what does it say? A blueprint interface is a collection of one or more functions. Name only, no implementation. One or more function. So like this is an interface, right? MIDI interface. So So this is nothing. This is just a variable. So so this is nothing. This is an empty value. Out actors. So I have to. Uh, in interfaces. Am I in an interface? Does implement interface. Cast to touch interface. To object converts an interface into an object. Find all actors in the world with the specified interface. Use with caution.
Um, so an interface. Name only is a collection of one or more functions name only. So like these are interfaces, right? Like this is an interface because it has its functions in it, right? Is this a function? that can be added to other blueprints. Any blueprint that has the interface added is guaranteed to have those functions. The function functions of the interface can be given functionality in each of the blueprints that added it. This essentially this is essentially like the concept of an interface in general programming, which allows multiple different types of objects to share and be accessed through a common interface. To put simply Blueprint interfaces allow different blueprints to share and send data with one another. All right, so how do I create a blueprint interface? A blueprint interface creation within the content browser is as simple as right clicking and choosing blueprint interface from the context menu. Okay. Create an advanced asset. Add new. Uh, so how do I create an advanced asset? Blueprint interface. It's under create basic asset folder. Uh, Man, I'm such a noob. It's as simple as within the content browser, it's as simple as right clicking. Right click, advanced asset, blueprint, blueprint interface. And we'll call it MIDI listener. function okay but what Editing an interface, adding functions, editing function signatures. Since so an interface, MIDI listener, get all actors with MIDI interface. So what, I don't get what he's doing here. I clicked all the actors in the scene 
with my custom blueprint interface. Oh, okay. But what does his custom blueprint interface do? I collect all the actors and store the list as an array. So, so how do I, on any input parameter, enable this event to be called from within the editor, inputs, view param. Is there is there a way to like what like what what is the purpose of this? I need to assign it to an actor. How do I assign it? So, so the actor, the actor is the shape, but it's also, it's also a blueprint, actor blueprint. What, can I just make an actor? An actor is a blueprint class. Blueprint class, blueprint interface. Uh, 
oh here we go implementing using interfaces and blueprints the use of in blueprint interfaces allows for a common method of interacting with, with multiple different types of objects that all share some specific functionalities it means you can have completely different types of objects wait I read this already implementing interface members when an interface is added to a blueprint that a blueprint must implement the interface's functions in order to have them perform any action when called this is done by placing event nodes for the interface functions in the event graph Interface, um, this is done by placing event nodes for the interface functions in the event graph. What? What event graph? I remember seeing an event graph somewhere. Right click event graph of the blueprint and add event. Add event. Event nodes in the interface functions in the event graph. The nodes connected to the event define the functionality or implementation for the function. Right click, add event, event. All right, let's add event. All right, there's an event. Select the type of event you would like to add. We add to the graph create a network of nodes. Connect it to the event's executable pin to give it functionality. Calling interface functions. The functions of the interface are executed through the use of interface message nodes. Look at these. These look and act like regular call functions, except that they can fail silently if the target does not implement the interface. Calling the interface functions on other blueprints. Interface functions are useful for allowing communication between different blueprints. Functions from a single interface can be called on other blueprints. This can be done when two criteria are met. Both blueprints implement the same interface. Functions for a single interface can be called on other. This can be done. Both blueprints implement the same interface. The 
calling blueprint knows the name of the in-game instance of the other, other blueprint. And creating an interface function node within the event graph. Wait, where was the event graph? Here's a graph. Is this the event graph? No. Functions. New function zero. Oh, this is the event graph. So the event graph is just uh, the main workspace, the main blueprint area. Okay. Oh, yeah, I see event graph right here. Oh, man. Um, get all actors with interface. So I made a... I made this but it's not a node. So... I don't see where we've got this. Blueprint sets. Oh my gosh. Execution trees. <sighs> then I clicked all the actors in my scene with my custom blueprint interface. But what? What is the custom blueprint interface? I don't understand that. At the variables, you'll notice I uh, made mini device name, b debug, b override channel out, and override channel public. This is so I could serialize which 
MIDI device input I wanted, allowing me to have multiple managers for multiple input devices. Serialize. I just want one MIDI device to start with. They allowed me to specify an override channel if I wanted to target specific recipients or if I wanted to use the MIDI channel reported on the event. So debug toggle that would print useful information if turned on. I want to collect and store all the MIDI devices reported. So that seems like it works. Reports to MIDI devices. So that's all good. If I've enabled debug mode, that works, that's good. Then I want to search for my specific MIDI device, MIDI input device, and once found, assign it as my MIDI device. Break found MIDI device. If MIDI device name, what it what is this? Device name. So that's device name. Break found MIDI device. So if this matches
See, it comes out as false. But I don't, I don't understand how it. Ch if I've got like seven MIDI devices, at what point does it split up the the MIDI devices? So it doesn't make sense to me. So current value is false, which means that these are not equaling. Returns the logical and of two values. Can receive from. True. True if the device supports sending events to, to us. But we never pick the devices. Seven. So there it's finding the seven devices. Watch this value. Where, where was the uh, watch window at? It was in debug. Watching string me device name. And? And? Where is it? Where is the debug window out here? MIDI device name and current value is nothing. Any might might not be unique. Oh. Watch so that watching stream and Promote to variable? Is it not already a variable? I 
definitely feel like I'm getting a better hang of blueprinting. Well, I didn't know anything about blueprints two days ago. I don't get this. I don't get it. Can receive from. I wish this was a <laughs> higher res because I can't see like if he has some specific stuff that I don't have. This this works. What am I doing differently here? To, do I have to change this default value? Is that what it is? Like if I name it SPDSX. to enumerate the available devices. Collapse nose, collapse function, fine ref. This is good, completed, execute a string, array index. Oh, someone help me. Someone in the chat, please. Someone in the chat, please. Oh, I don't know. I don't understand what's going on here because it comes out as false. Returns the logic 
returns the logical and of two values, A and B. True and false is false. Target is Kismet. Can receive from. There's no value from this string. It's a string. This is this is not working. Device name. Event Dispatcher Variable Multicast Interface Video Listener Oh, it didn't work Event Dispatcher Variable Type Oh Oh wait, it did work. New event dispatcher. It goes to a set Promote to variable, and the variable is what? What's it called? It's called all actors with MIDI listener. Then what? What's the issue now? The issue is that this has no value. So MIDI device has no value. So just get rid of that. Select asset. Bind MIDI input only if valid. MIDI controller.
Man, I wish I could just download his project file. Why? This is, I, I feel like I'm learning a lot about the nodes, honestly, but I also just want it to work. I, I also don't want to um, an error. What's the error now? What, this? What? What's the issue? MIDI device? Default value. Like, where did I even get this? Array of actor object. MIDI controller. Where where does he make MIDI controller? That's up here at the end. Current value is none. Break found MIDI device adds a node that breaks a found MIDI device into its member fields. Yeah, but what does that mean? Can I get a little more info? Inputs found MIDI device by ref. Find MIDI device. Oh, just play it, man. Okay. <laughs> oh, this is so frustrating. Watching? What does watching do? Watching does nothing. At a break point, what? What's the issue? What? What's the issue now? Oh my gosh. 
What? Alright, I'm starting a new one. I'm starting a brand new file. New level. Default. Save that. New level? I want a new... I want a new project. <sighs> Blueprint. Learn to do blueprint templates require no programming knowledge. C++ set templates offer a good example of how to work with some of the core concepts of the engine from code. You still have the option of adding your own blueprints to the product later. Blueprint. Blueprint templates require no programming knowledge. All game mechanics can be implemented using blueprint visual scripting. Start. Search for desired. It doesn't make any sense to me how break found media device works. So I want to, first of all, I want to create a blueprint, blueprint class. An actor, a pawn, is an actor that can be possessed. Character is a type of pawn that includes the ability to walk. Player controller is an actor responsible for controlling a pawn used by the player. Game mode, base, defines the game being played. Actor component. And there's a, there's a lot of the classes of actors, or blueprints, huh? Actor. Let's call it MIDI trigger. We'll place the boy right in the mid. And we'll, we'll dive into him. And we'll go event begin play. Then we want to add find MIDI devices. Oh, well, actually, we need to turn on the plugins, I guess. I guess you have to do it for every project. So we go to edit plugins, and then we search for MIDI. Well, actually, it's, a, it's just an input. So we go down to input devices, enable MIDI device support. Yes. We know it's unstable. Yes. We're going to restart. Untitled one. File we're going to save, save current as MIDI trigger.
we're going to say that MIDI trigger level. And we're going to restart. Okay, excellent, excellent. Let's go back into our, our MIDI trigger. And, uh, wait, where am I, what is this? What is this class defaults? This data, this is a data only blueprint, so only the follow. So then we want the MIDI. We want find MIDI devices. Then we promote that to a variable and we call it MIDI devices. Yes? Let's debug it. So we have to add a break, add a breakpoint so that we can see. No. And then MIDI. This so we want to break. Create MIDI device controller. But we want to break up the uh, break found MIDI devices. So found MIDI device. So this, this is the array still. So what? MIDI. Get default I MIDI. Get MIDI input device ID by name. Retrieves, retrieves MIDI input device ID by name. Call find all MIDI device info beforehand to enumerate the available input devices. So we could use that one maybe.
MIDI device info. So how come I can't see Oh my gosh, I'm such a fucking noob. Anyone in the chat, help me out. Uh, so it says, retrieves MIDI input device ID by name. Uh, I wonder, maybe there's in the library, like something you can download. You know what I'm saying? The library? Like a template or something. Cause I'm I'm struggling over here. I have learned a lot. New project. See, like, where do you uh, choose a template? Any of the features can be layer added, but add feature content pad. Like um. The Unreal Marketplace. Or maybe, do they have a tutorial on MIDI? Community wiki. Nothing there. I just want to start with like a te template. I looked at this already. I 
I just want like a template. Here we go. MIDI for Unreal Engine. Template. It doesn't say template actually. Marketplace. Procedural MIDI. Oh, it's on the marketplace. There it is! Oh my god! This whole time. Give it to me. Thank you, Scott Bichel. Slot to add. God bless Scott Bichel. One can finally be able to harness the power of MIDI in Unreal. Musicians and engineers know how powerful it can be. MIDI is used in a variety of applications from controlling robots to making synthesized music. I'm unable to describe the power of MIDI, but Wiki can briefly give you the overview. The way I'm thinking of using it is in a live setting where the Unreal Engine is just basically hooked up to whatever whatever your setup is. Install the engine. Okay. Did it install it? Okay, where do you see a template at? How do you load a template? Marketplace. Hey, get back here. How do you see how do you see ones that you've purchased already? Owned. Okay. Oh, it's a plug-in. Okay. All right, come on. I learned a lot about blueprints, but. Yeah. 
as far as programming the entire plugin, that's not reasonable, right? So thankfully, Scott Bichelle came through big. All right, how do you how do you use it? There's some documentation to it. Example project. Select an Unreal Engine version. Thank you, Scott. Other kinds of plugins they have. Cause it, Unreal Engine seems so deep. Just like ridiculously deep. continue this tomorrow. I'm gonna have to
Oh my god. It's frozen. Alright, let's, let's reset it. Just trying to reload. Man, now it's stuck at 45%. It's so difficult. <laughs> MIDI is so... Uh, it's like, how old is MIDI? MIDI was standardized in 1983. It's older than I am. By a good, good minute. Dave Smith, creator of MIDI. Look, what a beast. What a beast. Now I can't even load the project. <laughs> it, it's been a, it's been a real struggle these past couple days. It's 
having a real struggle. How come I can't open up? Well, I got the plugin. But like the the actual product file, project file. It's just a plugin. Look at this. It's just like some guy's blog. So oh yeah, I just made a mini looper. Here it is. All right, I'm, I'm gonna have to call it here. This was a, I feel like I learned a little bit more about blueprints today, but Seems like it should just be. I think it's interesting that there's not really like it's all third-party support for this stuff. Like it's not a main focus of most software. It doesn't give a fuck about MIDI. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to call it here. But uh, I'll be back. You know, I feel like I feel like streaming. Really forces you to focus down, and uh, I was getting a little bit distracted, but. We'll figure it out. We're, we're going to make some cool stuff in Unreal eventually. There's always that learning curve and figuring out the tools. I'm already getting way more used to the interface where things are. But um, I mean, you can, you can just see through everything they have on this learn tab. It's like, OK, destruction, Spatial audio, digital human. It's like, okay, yeah. Like, this is a real deep program. Uh, like, environmental art. You can learn about landscapes. I, I would like to get more into something like the environmental art kind of stuff. Particle effects, realistic rendering. Um, yeah, I learned maybe a little bit more about blueprints. Um, and I think I would like to focus on how it can, all, all these different skill sets can be used towards like a, a setting of, in a live performance with like projected images. And then maybe eventually like AR or virtual reality. I can bring some of that, some of this, this game engine stuff into live music performance. 
uh, specifically a, like electronic music performance, which I always felt um, that there's there's a performative aspect missing from a lot of electronic music. And it, it seems like a good way to combat that is to have some kind of uh, interesting visuals going on. But then again, um, but it, it's also very, uh, it's very cost prohibitive for just like an individual artist to do that. And also time prohibitive for an individual artist to do the, the music and then also work on the visuals. So I'm thinking about something like, like a Dead Mouse show where obviously he has a whole team of people or like any like big EDM show where it's like, okay, you have the EDM DJ, but he doesn't really do anything besides hit play. And then, but then they've got all the lights. I'm thinking about like Coachella at the, the Sahara tent where they've just got like all kinds of screens and all kinds of crazy visuals going on. And Like that visual aesthetic goes a long way towards the overall performance. If it was just the music, you know, it's, it's probably just half of the performance. No, but I'm thinking about how, how you can do something on a smaller scale, but still interesting, um, still memorable. And I'm thinking about how I can bring in my skills in design. And, uh, and my, my skills that I've in uh, 3D, 3D graphics, 3D motion graphics. Uh, I've been learning a lot in uh, things like Octane and Cinema 4D in terms of Uh, the rendering process, how to make shit look good in 3D. So I'd like to bring all that into Unreal Engine and a real-time environment. I think that it's going to be really fun to explore and I'm going to keep doing it live and hopefully I'll get some people in here and I can get some help like maybe <laughs> I I would love some help if some people could come in here who know Unreal Engine I might actually try and get into some other streamers like if people are streaming Unreal Engine I think I've only found one dude who is streaming Unreal Engine so far on Twitch but like get in there and ask questions because I have a lot more questions now like just being in the program for a couple days. So yeah, we'll get we'll get back on it. 